Hi everyone, so now we're on the Forces Part 2 pack. Similar idea, there's a lot of stuff in the first lesson. Um, and less stuff in the second lesson. Right, okay, your front page looks different to mine, so we might have to go with it. Is this? There might be some questions where it's not quite the same. Right, so, connected particles, so we've got stuff that's attached together, maybe by string, rope, a bar, um, tow bar, you know, that type of thing. So we always assume that they're light and inextensible, so the bits move together. Uh, it might have a pulley, that's always done smooth as well, to make easy, these assumptions to make it easier for us. Right, so let's have a look at this question here. So a car of mass, a thousand kilos, is towing a trailer. So let's assume that this is the car here. So I'm driving forwards. It's got a mass of a thousand kilos. So I've got a thousand G acting down. I have a normal reaction for the car acting up. So it's, kind of, it's got a trailer of 250 kilos. So here's my trailer. That's 250 G and that's a normal reaction for the trailer. There are constant resistances to the movement for the car and trailer. So I've got a constant, so I'm just going to actually move that and put it down here. So that's 150 newtons, and that one's going to be 50 newtons. There. So that's them done. There's a driving force of 800 newtons. There. Now what's missing is the tension in whatever's connected it. So it pulls the cap, like, as your car sets up, it's pulling it back, and then the trailer is being pulled by it. So these are tensions. The idea when we're putting T there for trailer, and now I've got T for tension, but there you go. To put TR for trailer. Right, so if I just want, if I want the, the I'm trying to reword this. If I want the tow bar, I can look at bits independently. But if I want the acceleration or the driving force, I'm going to look at the whole system. So I'm going to treat it as a single entity. So as a single entity, this block has a combined mass of 1250G. It has a combined force pushing it along of 800 newtons. It has a combined resistive force of 50 plus 150 is 200. Now, technically, the T's cancel out. But I've got an acceleration there. So I'm going to use that to work out what my acceleration is. If you treated them as separate and added them in, it's fine. So F equals MA horizontally. So I've got the force in the direction of travel minus the force opposing is equal to a mass times acceleration. So 800 minus 200 is 1250A. I've got 600 over 1250, that gives me 0.48 meters per second squared for the acceleration there. So that's part A does. Calculate the acceleration. Oh, I've got to find the tension now. So for the tension, I look at one part of it. I can look at either, can't spell tension. So I just look at one part of it, okay. one particle. Doesn't matter which one you look at, if you're accurate, uh, then it'll, it'll, it'll work. Right, so I'm going to look at the trailer. And the reason I'm looking at the trailer though, is it's just less forces on it. So I've got the tension pulling it, I've got a resistive force of 50, I've got 250G, and I've got R acting up. And I know now that A is 0.48. So if I do F equals MA, do it horizontally, or parallel to the plane next year, I've got the force in the direction of travel minus the force opposing is MA. So I've got T minus 50 is 250 lots of 0.48. If I take the 50 over and work it out, it gives me a tension of 170 newtons, and I'm very, very aware that the time's going to run out. So I'm going to stop the vid now.